Okay, sure, cats don't have the same level of physical energy as your neighbor's dog. More like a silent, majestic air, leading many cat parents to think, is my cat mad at me? Is your royal feline diva capable of holding grudges? Well, let's find out. Unlike dogs, not much research has been done on the cognitive abilities of cats. But what we do know is younger kittens have a relatively short-term memory, so they're more forgiving than their older siblings. Which means if you screw up, like forgetting to top up that kitty bowl, chances are your baby kitty will simply forget and forgive. But it's not that easy. Just like humans, cats actually have different types of memories. Imagine your cat's brain as a treasure chest with different drawers. The first one, the working memory, is like a quick access drawer where they tore all the info they need right now. Say, where they last spotted that sneaky bug. According to one study, a cat's working memory about vanishing objects was quite limited. Then, there's short-term memory, a place where they stash all recent memories like the taste of their last meal or the route they took for a patrol around the neighborhood. Anything from a few hours to a few days. It's like a midpoint between working and long-term memory. Studies show that a cat's short-term memory may last up to 16 hours, but according to others, it may be much less. Finally, there's long-term memory, which is like a huge memory vault where they store precious memories for the long haul, like their favorite hiding spots or the sound of your voice or footsteps. This mental box is filled with all sorts of experiences that are unique to each cat. This type of memory is determined by their breed, health, and age. But how do you know your cat is mad at you? Usually, it's pretty obvious if a cat is feeling grumpy, as they may hide or leave the room when you enter it. They also look more physically tense, stiff, with that tail swishing angrily from side to side. You might want to take a step back when they start hissing or growling at you, and if you piss them off, they might jump at you and even bite you. If your cat appears to be acting aggressively, it's best to not approach them, as this could provoke an attack. Instead, give them a little space to calm down. Now, coming back to the big question, are cats even capable of holding grudges? Well, they don't exactly bear grudges in the same way that we do. Instead, they form mental associations with negative things or events around them. Remember, cats are all about survival. Their memory might not be photographic like Mike from the Suits, but they definitely remember bad experiences in their past. Think of it like this. Stub your toe once, you probably won't walk over that same crack again. Same for cats. If something scared them or made them unhappy, they'll simply avoid that thing in the future, helping them prevent the same bad thing from happening again. It's a protective mechanism that would have kept their wild ancestors safe. If you accidentally step on your cat, they might develop a similar aversion to you for a while too. They might feel like they're holding a grudge against you, but they're really just trying to protect themselves. Using their memory of recent events to learn from his mistakes hold their safe ground. Now, you must be wondering why your cat gives you the cold shoulder after a vet visit or an accidental stepping on their paws. But hey, don't worry, their kitty-sized brains don't hold grudges forever. Most minor mishaps are forgotten in a few hours or days, leaving room for more important things like napping, head bopping, and playdates. So yeah, if your feline seems a little distant after, say, a forced shower, just toss them some treats and a few chin scratches and it'll be all well again. Always remember to respect your cat's need for solo time to process their grumpiness. And don't force unwanted cuddles or petting, as this can backfire. Just try hanging out in the same room while radiating positive zen vibes. And let your cat come to you. They will eventually, trust me. You can also try giving them their favorite snacks to nimble on. Or try gentle calls and soothing words. If they seem like they're in the mood, whip out a feather wand or a laser pointer. Playtime is a great way to rebuild that lost kitty trust. Sure, a lot more research needs to be done into the ins and outs of cat cognition, but we do know that most cats want to protect themselves rather than hold spite against you. If there's been an incident that has worried your cat, then give him a little time and space to let him calm down and all shall be forgiven in no time. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And while you're at it, feel free to check out our next video about 12 ways you might be hurting your cat. Trust me, number 7 will blow your mind.